hello again. So I didn't know, uh, I didn't really think I'd be doing is so many episodes on sounding rockets, but hey, you know, if that's uh, that's what's functioning and interesting, why not? So I'm um, fidgeting, I uh, did a quick bit of research and found that the engine in this did evolve into the second stage of the, um, of the, of the Vanguard, uh, the, the AJ-10-27 variant. So yeah, I'm, I'm a ways away from having that bit of tech. Um, but let's see, so have a little stretch version. So this is a really stripped down version. I currently have it pointed straight up. Now, uh, something I haven't mentioned uh, before at all, but you know, if you go high enough, you know, the earth rotates a little bit under you and you, you never really hit the launch pad as long as the engine doesn't fail right away. So that's why I wasn't angling any of those previous ones. So one thing I just noticed, because uh, you know, forgotten notice, forgotten notice. So when you lay down fins the first time, uh, they're at mass strength one, so they're heavy. So look at the delta V here. So I'm at what 2.26, let's say. So I did a little experimentation, and look, I lower this down, make them lighter, let's say there, and I get more delta V because I'm carrying less wing mass. Now I'm going to save the trouble. I did a quick test and found that this spins itself to death. I don't want to do that. So oh. I accidentally ripped the wing off. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so I want to go rotate. I'm not sure why. There we go. Click. I'm not sure why it's not taking. Uh, oh, come on. There we go. All right, rotate. So I want to rotate these straight. Oh, I want this off um, because I want to make relatively fine tuned changes because that's how I got there. So I think these are straight or close enough. You know what? I may as well just rip them off. It's not like it's going to take that long um, to do so. So I want to just rip off all four wings. I could probably get away with three, but you know I've experimented with four, so four is what I'll do. So when I pop them on fresh, notice my delta V, and then I'm going to reduce them to that. So I got a bit more. So that's going to let me get higher in practice. I found that gets me to around 100 kilometers, sometimes a little lower. Again, it kind of depends on the engine. So I'm going to make this variant and call it 1.4 and save it. Um, burn time is just a little long. I find it's a, a little risky. Like, let me see. What, if I could lower this to 99%, I would. Um, there's, you know, I, I could also just adjust adjust the uh, the length just slightly. But I find that it does usually burn out before consuming all the fuel. So it'd be ideal um, to you know burn out when it just after it had burned all the fuel, it would fail. But anyway, so let's save this design and build it. So that's going to get me a little higher. This might cross the Kármán line. Now, that is a whole goal. That's going to get me a ton of cash. If you noticed, I've got 50% more cash than I had when I started. Ah, I don't want to quite do it that way. Rotate. Um, but that mission, I think, would give me 20 or 25,000 uh, units of cash, which is which would be a huge boost if I can cross the Kármán line uh, with these rockets. So I'm going to tilt just slightly that way. I'm pretty sure that was the right direction. Pointing out that way uh, points it out over the ocean. So that will give me a chance to hit another biome. And if I'm trying to hit another biome, then I'm going to want to put these science modules back on. And I like to lock them square just because I'm like that. Um, you know, I can justify it to myself for various reasons. I'm balancing the masses so it'll have less wobble, but I just like to use the locked square when I can. Okay, and I want to add those bits of science back to this because at least in uh, 1.0.5 oh boy do things like to spin uh, toggle display so the, the it's the display wobbles back and forth and back and forth I'm not don't currently have a mod installed that um, stops that from happening so that action group one there we go so this is pretty similar to that other version except I've got a bit more science on it therefore it's and it's a little it's tilted and so save yes and there we go. So that's what I've done. All I did was make it a little bit heavier. I'm going to get more science. So this this one, because it's tilted and it's a little more heavier, is less likely to go as high. So the other one I've kind of specialized to try to get out of um, cancel. Th those will ultimately work or not work. You know, it doesn't matter too much to you guys. Um, I might do those launches back to back in another video, but I want to stay in the VAB here because I also want to show off. So kind of look at the price of everything I've built so far. Really cheap, about 120. So these are good, cheap sounding rockets. New technology will give me better engines like this. So if all I all my goal is is to get a little bit higher or something like that, 
just variations on this rocket are going to be nice and cheap. Good ways to do that. So if I want to, ex there's a number of competing um, factors when you're designing a craft, like you want control, you want it to be cheap, you want it to um, be a you know be a powerful upper stage or lower stage that you can couple with other things. So eventually you have to design something just totally different. So I'm going to go with the A4, otherwise known as the V2. So I believe these parts are from the Tarot B mod, and I'm just showing the assembly because I could I had a little trouble figuring it out the first time. So I could just pop on this you know this naked uh, A4 engine if I wanted to build a boat tail myself or if I wanted to do something else with it. Um, but let's see the price, you know, basically the same. I'm going to make a nice V2 looking V2. Uh, let's throw on these fins. I'll do a little experimentation later with how much mass strength they should have, make them a little weaker. So look, I, I get slightly more delta V uh, for five times the price. Now you say, okay, so if I'm just looking at delta V, burn time, everything, this this looks basically the same as the other one, except it's way more expensive. So Kyle, why the hell are you going to build this? Well, because it's heavier, this will serve as a good first stage. The other one is so light, there's really nothing I could add up, you know, on top of it, even with future designs, that will let me get higher. Maybe like a single sergeant rocket, which I'll show off at some other point. But basically when this thing burns out, it's going to be pretty heavy still. Uh, like if I were to drain all the tanks, which I'm not going to do right now, so I always have this label the vessel mass, but when this burns out, it's going to be fairly heavy, which means, um, like let's say it's, I don't know, a ton and a half or two tons, something like that, right? So I could add a payload that's half a ton, which is actually like around the mass of that other rocket, as an upper stage to this. So when this burns out, I could um, throw a whole another rocket from it. So that's uh, what I plan to do, um, just not in the future. So something I really like about test flight, uh, no, I'm going to use rotate, rotate it just slightly off the launch pad, but I'm going to have control of this. Notice how avionics okay. So I'm not just, I'm paying for the same amount of delta V, sure. I'm, I'm also paying for control. Uh, and I'm also paying to increase the efficiency of this, uh, the um, the abilities of this engine. So it, uh, let me go back to hovering over it. Let's see, so I right click, so burn time rated for 70 second burn. So right now I'm using 65, so I could actually go a, a little more. I could actually run this for a little bit longer. Let me make sure it has everything it needs. Yeah, ethanol, liquid. We, we recently changed the uh, the V2 based engines, like the A4, the RD103, to also consume a high test peroxide, which was used to spin up the fuel pumps in reality. So I just want to make sure that this was upgraded for that. So it still only has the one ignition, um, you know, various things. This particular version doesn't have any upgrade versions. I don't recall offhand if we have any other ones. But just because it's not from the same part, there there's a future part called the RD-103, which I think is the Russian version. But after the war, Americans and Russians actually captured you know, V-2 rockets. So they just had the actual rockets. They had them complete. You know, they didn't have the whole picture. But I mean, if you have a complete rocket, you know, you just have to uh, mostly it's, it's easier to launch than building something from scratch. So because that was a limited resource, right, if they just used them all without learning anything, they would have never advanced the science. They wanted to make reproductions, so they went from just using captured V2s to kind of deconstructing and learning how they went together and ended up building their own versions of the V2. Uh, so they you know, were pretty similar, same, similar efficiency, very similar designs. Um, what do I want to use as a launch clamp? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's just throw that on. Uh, looks a little ugly, makes me sad. Let me try squaring it up. There we go. Then it doesn't punch through the surface. That makes me happier. So with this, I'm going to have to do it a little differently. Now, engines in real fuels, one of the mods in this stack makes it so the engines take a little bit of time to spin up. So first I have to light the engine, and then after a second or two, um, I can actually separate it from the launch tower. So let's call this the V to one because I'm going to make variations of this but that's the reason I feel like I've expressed them fairly well why why am I moving to like basically what looks like a lateral move this rocket's going to have very similar capabilities uh, to my other rocket that I built uh, let me just throw some science onto it as well actually I might be able to put uh, a biological payload onto it um, but I'm not going to do that 
right now, maybe after a little bit of experimentation. But I'm going to throw the same science bits onto it. I'm going to throw on a thermometer. Now, these are the exact same parts, so look how much bigger the V2 rocket is than those early experimental rockets that we were using, the, um, the, uh, the Aero B. Yeah. <clears throat> that aero B based engine. Um, what was it called? I've got a nice picture here. Uh, the WAC Corporal. I recommend you look, if you are curious at the physical scale of some of these, look up a picture of a V2 with people around it. But the previous one was a WAC Corporal. Uh, all right, so let's set up the same action group because I like it. Uh, no, not toggle display, sorry. Log, temperature, data, um, analyze telemetry. Sorry, it's kind of covered up there. And log temperature. So this is going to be set up pretty similarly. I'm going to arc it so it kind of goes over the water, so hopefully I can get some more biome data. Uh, but mostly the reason I'm uh, running this is so that I can get uh, more data for this, uh, for this engine, so that I can make it more reliable with time. Uh, I don't plan to rely on the V2 for very long. There are plenty of other engines. America developed some pretty good engines based on that, like the Redstone engine, an example, uh, which is used as an, in the, I think, in the Jupiter um, Inter, or the medium range ballistic missile and it's used to test out the mercury capsule but I'll be moving into the like purely American engines you know relatively shortly um, including like that aerobie sounding engine those are American but I'm not going to launch any of these right now I just wanted to kind of talk about the reason to make a lateral movement so once I've made this rocket more reliable uh, through launching it a couple of times etc I can replace this upper stage part with a rounded tank that contains the same amount of you know, ethanol 75 and then I can you know later on I'll be able to put on a separator and put an upper stage on it and that's that's really fun right uh, taking a design taking like a, a stage like this where it's it can just be used anything can be used as a sounding rocket right I mean effectively the Saturn 1 was just basically a sounding rocket like there were missions where they were testing the early Saturns Saturn rockets where they literally just had a dummy upper stage which was full of water. So it was basically a sounding rocket just to gain knowledge and abilities with the early engines. And once they had made them more reliable, then they coupled them with other potentially more capable upper stages. So it's like a seesaw maneuver where you develop, you're developing these upper stages and lower stages kind of to work together, but really they're independent modules that can be coupled together which is also something I look forward to showing off in these videos, where I can make use of the sub-assemblies. So I can take a rocket, you know, make a, a, a V2 lower stage, and then couple it with various upper stages as I, I evolve through them. And kind of show when a stage, you know, when a, a lower stage like this out, you know, outlives its welcome. When do I want to just retire it and move on to just using a newer one? So you know, I'm, I look forward to showing off that process because it's really interesting to me. Well, thank you for watching another video in this series. I hope it's uh, interesting. Uh, this is pretty much all being the VAB. And the next video, uh, I'll try to launch all three of those rockets, maybe just you know, one of the sounding rockets in this one. Honestly, I'm not quite sure what parts of this people would be most interested in. So you know, register your opinion. You know, leave a comment or a like, because ultimately I don't have enough time to show every element of every RP0 mission. Um, so, you know, let me know, do you like the construction, the explanation, the flight, uh, you know, what elements do you like the most? Well, thanks for watching. Goodbye.